Hi everyone, Teddy Baldassar here. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at a watch from Breitling, a great looking chronograph with the Breitling Premier B09 Champagne. So if you're new here on this channel, we cover watches that we carry as an authorized dealer on teddybaldassar.com, as well as our flagship boutique in Cleveland, Ohio. So in this video, deep dive on this timepiece, final points of consideration at the end. However, throughout this video, if you have further questions or are looking to buy this watch, click the link in the description down below. You can reach out to one of our client advisors or you can step into our boutique. Let's jump into the video, take a closer look at this watch. Although there are many names that spring to mind when discussing Breitling, such as the Navitimer, Super Ocean, and Chronomat, there's one surprising factoid that is often overlooked that is one of the earlier names that was used in Breitling's storied history is the Premier, dating back all the way to the 1940s. The collection of Premiers have had a less consistent history of production compared to some of the brand's icons. Nevertheless, one of my favorite releases in all of watchmaking in the last five years has been the relaunch of the Premier lineup. The collection saw its first wave of attention coming from the 42 millimeter B01 powered Premiers that are still a growing part of Breitling's formula, carving out its own unique niche in the process. To follow was a line in 2021 that leaned further into the romantics, complementing the beautiful symmetry of the chronograph layout with a 40 millimeter case and a manual wound caliber B09, seeing great fanfare following the release of the green pistachio dial version that paved the way for another captivating dial color that we're gonna be looking at here today, known formally as the Premier B09 Champagne. Working outward in, this Premier is one of the smaller chronographs Breitling produces, measuring in with a case diameter of 40 millimeters, paired with a thickness just over 13 millimeters and a lug to lug of 47.2 millimeters. The Premier B09 is going to excel on the vast majority of wrists. I think it's a great universal sizing and is a nice change of pace from many of other Breitling sports chronographs. Given the heavily domed crystal that contrasts with the thin bezel that it's going to make the dial appear a little larger, I would say this ultimately wears relatively true to size. Between 20 millimeter lugs, the Premier is paired with a padded glossy crocodile strap bolstered by slight internal padding and is accented by an on-brand yellow calfskin lining. As a result of the slight padding and rigidity that comes with reptilian leather, the strap will take a bit more time to break in, but once it is done, it serves as an excellent accommodating companion. The straps meet at the tail end at a deployant clasp constructed from milled components, with the strap being initially presented by the factory in reverse orientation, with the tail end of the strap coming in on the six o'clock side of the case when strapped on, though this is an easy switch if you do desire to switch it around to a more conventional way. Case finishing consists of hits of polishing on the front of the case, including the bezel, the lug tops, and along the outward sloping facet. Vertical brushing with three parallel engraved lines adds flair and texture to its side profile, with a large 7.5 millimeter push-pull crown that sits at three, being accompanied by rectangular pushers at two and four. Despite the lack of a screw-down crown and this model's more elegant positioning, the Premier is still rated to 100 meters of water resistance, which is both great to see and a testament to the build quality on offer here. The box section sapphire crystal above protects the watch and has double AR coating, not leaving us with any obstructive viewing angle of the dial beneath. The primary surface here is classified as champagne, which I find to be relatively accurate, as it serves up a stunning sun ray effect that warms up the presentation against the contained perimeter that comes with the cold stainless steel case. Taking a closer look at the dial, the pure horizontal dual register display is as non-abrasive as you will find. At the outskirts, a slightly elevated lip is complete with a printed tachometer scale in black, setting a perimeter around the printed minute track with small Arabic numerals marking every five minutes, and applied in highly polished Arabics one step further inward. The two, four, eight, and 10 are interrupted by the dual sub-registers, which consists of running seconds at nine and a 30 minute timer at three. Both are set just below the plane of the dial and decorated with subtle concentric circular grain. Dial text consists of an applied B and subtle printing at 12 with only chronograph and vintage style premier text printed at six. All while the central syringe style handset holding a central loom strip manages time while a simple stick chronograph seconds hand with a hollowed lollipop counterweight manages the chronograph seconds. While the application of luminescent material is minimal in this dressier case, the added nighttime legibility is nice to see and does present some sporty upside in the process with that 100 meters of water resistance. And then turning the watch around, we are treated with a view of the in-house B09 caliber resting beyond the Sapphire exhibition case back. When it comes to in-house chronograph calibers, the Breitling Automatic B01 represents a definitive point of value in both Breitling's own collection, as well as the luxury watch 
watch market as a whole under $10,000. The B09 powering this watch here is essentially a modified B01 void of a rotor and automatic winding mechanism. Further, the B09 is a vertical clutch, column wheel operated chronograph. And like other column wheel chronographs, pusher operation is exceptional and responsive and pleasing. And this really stacks up with the best of them. A firm click with audible feedback assures the user that instantaneous chronograph stop and start. Additionally, the movement is on par with other brands in this price point in regards to finishing and leaves much for the eyes to see, benefiting from the lack of an oscillating weight that would otherwise limit our view. The movement showcases engraving, Geneva stripes across the bridges, and mirror polished chronograph components that jump to life when activating the two o'clock pusher, including its column wheel in plain view. Perhaps more importantly, considering it's a manual operation here, the B09 provides a healthy 70 hours of power reserve, operating from a single barrel while still beating away at 28,800 vibrations per hour or four hertz. And unlike almost any other brand that I can think of, Breitling makes the fact that this watch is a certified chronometer a secret to be discovered rather than being broadcasted on the dial and everywhere else across this watch, meaning that this caliber has been tested to run within minus four to plus six seconds per day. And speaking to this model we have on hand here, it was tested across five positions and running well within that spec at about zero to plus three seconds per day. In terms of general operation here, 28,800 vibrations per hour, four hertz, it does feature hacking, hacking stop in the second hand when you pull the crown to the farthest position and 70 hours of power reserve. All right, so now to unpack when looking at the Breitling Premier B09. This is personally, for my own taste, my favorite chronograph, I believe, from Breitling. It's right there with the Navitimers. There's a lot of chronographs, and this is what they do well with this brand. But there's an underdog aspect about these watches and just beautiful symmetry to them that's so understated, but I can't help but just get lost in. Now, given its dressier style, the Loom is going to be a slight bit underwhelming in comparison to some of their more sporty offerings and the fact that it is going to be manual wound and has a dressier approach. That is not much as in vogue at the moment with all of the sports lineup that's going crazy, but ultimately why I think this watch is intriguing. Now with the Breitling Premier B09, I think so many people got caught up in that dial and the same could be said here for the Champagne. It is a stunning dial to look at, more of a sunray finish rather than a more matte finish that comes with that pistachio. 100 meters of water resistance, very wearable dimensions as well. 40 millimeters wears like a dream on the wrist. Thickness is going to be very reasonable for a chronograph in this segment. Many chronographs are going to be well over 14 millimeters thick as you'll find across the industry. So to see this dimension set here, quite nice. The heritage his design, simple layout, no date. And I think ultimately this is a watch that can bridge the gap between the brand and people that maybe have never considered the brand in the past. Given its more traditional approach, stellar wearing dimensions, and a dial that really speaks for itself. All right, well, thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Really would appreciate that. It does help us out. In addition, if you are in the market for this watch, it is available on teddybaldister.com. More details will be there and also at our flagship boutique in Cleveland, Ohio. Each product we sell comes with customer support from our team of watch experts, is backed with a full factory warranty, and each sale allows us to continue to invest in future productions, educating consumers around the world about horology. We really do appreciate it. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.